Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Curve Texture's next project, which we're really excited about. Uh, it's a small project on our farm, which is Dalpura Farm, a little bit out of Geelong in Victoria. And it's going to be a super adobe planter bed to house herbs and flowers. The reason that we're doing it is to beautify this whole area. Uh, George Weiss, which is one of our other residents, has done a lot of round timber, all the round timber work here. Uh, the existing structure was just the uprights, the treated pine uprights, and he's installed all of these bush poles um, over a couple weeks, um, quite a while ago, to house um, passion fruit vines. So passion fruit vines will grow up the fans here behind me and also here is more of a roofed section for uh, what will be an outdoor kitchen so the main bits are um, over here the main bits of the planter beds <coughs> will encase all of these and uh, run all the way around here all there run all the way there and then all the way to that back post and then come inside as well so you can access the planter beds from this side and the other side of the fences and then over here is uh, absolutely wonderful amazing uh, roof section we're unsure at the moment exactly what's going to go on the roof it might be um, covered and have a living roof on it but it may also just be some vines but uh, this will be a seating area and then at the back will be a big cob pizza oven so it would be nice to have this kind of out of the rain and you can come and sit <clears throat> and the planter beds will come around here and go straight down here and you'll be able to sit here and have the um, herbs and things right behind you. you can pluck them out and chuck them on your pizza so that's generally um, the plan at the moment, we've got a bit of a design, uh, might do a 3D design of it as well. And um, yeah, so the first thing we need to do is clear all of this stuff. We have some donated yuccas um, from a gardener friend. Uh, we're just going to pull all of this stuff out. We need to clear all the grass in the topsoil and then spray paint the design where it's actually going to lay on the ground and get ready to start laying some bags. So the bags themselves, we're going to start with um, a fully um, a full gravel bag in the lowest bag so that it stops moisture wicking up um, into the planter beds and into the plaster. Uh, that'll be the first bag and then we'll probably have three to four rows on top of that of standard super adobe. So the great thing with super adobe is, uh, <laughs> let me tell you, is um, you can use site soil most of the time. So um, soil that you've dug from on site and on your property and uh, behind me here is a previous project that we did where we have, um, this is a massive hole in the ground that we dug and this is all the soil that came from it. We got um, some small piles as well and a few small piles over there. So this stuff is really, really perfect for super adobe. Um, we got a bit of rain last night, which is great. So um, the way you can tell with super adobe is if you can squeeze it, throw it up in the air three times and it not fall apart and uh, it also not leave a pool of water on your hand. So there's no moisture on my hand, it's not dripping um, and we're throwing it up and it can survive three throws. Uh, this is really good. Uh, you can see here we've got really nice gravel, uh, nice amounts of gravel, nice amounts of coarse sand and quite a lot of clay in here as well. There's probably about 30 to 40 percent clay and the rest is gravel and sand. So that's really, really, really good for Super Adobe. The clay sticks it all together and the gravel and sand gives it a lot of strength and a lot of structure. So it, we're pretty lucky that we literally dug right there behind us and the planter beds are going right there behind us. So um, yeah, it's just gonna work out really well and cannot wait to get this started. We're going to... Um, we're going to plaster it with a really nice, um, probably like a nice yellow ochre color, something like that, and it'll be finished really beautifully. And then the next project is doing the outdoor kitchen, and I cannot wait to start that. So yeah, we're going to time lapse it all and keep you guys up to date. Thanks heaps. Bye bye.